what's up y'all this is amber real welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a lace closure install using a two by six lace closure as you can see i'm taking down this old flip over method install it was really time to come down now um I'm using three bundles of my raw Vietnamese hair. I'm going to dye it this time and hopefully it turns out <laughs> like I want. So, um, this is the color that I was going for. Um, as you can see right here, I'm just braiding my hair down. Um, this is the foundation I'm using. These are the products that I use for the color. So since I'm um, gluing down, of course I'm gluing down my closure, but this is the foundation that I like to use. Nothing too complicated, um, but the, wherever I'm putting the closure, I like to do those where it's going straight down just to make sure it's super flat when I um, get ready to press it. Um, Y'all, my arms were on fire braiding my hair down, but anyway, I got it done. Now I'm going to um, dye my bundles. So I want these different shades of blonde. So I'm going in with my BW2 bleach and my 20 cream developer. And I'm just mixing that up. A lot of times when I do color now, I like to do a bleach bath because it's just faster for me. And it's a little bit less work. So um, that's what you see me doing. Also, I'm adding a little bit of conditioner. That's a tip, you guys, when you're mixing bleach. If you add in a little bit of conditioner, it'll just kind of help um, keep the hair from becoming so dry and damaged during the bleaching process. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just weave through my bundles. And basically, I'm just weaving out the parts that I would like to bleach for my highlights. And I'm going through and I'm going to do each um, each of my bundles that way. And then I'll stick them in that tub for the bleach bath. Also, I like to add boiling hot water to my bleach bath because I just feel like it um, helps it process faster. You don't have to do that, but I highly suggest using um, hot water for your bleach baths. Has anyone else tried doing bleach baths or do you have a method of bleaching hair that you feel like is faster or more conducive? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Okay, y'all, so this is what the hair looked like once I took it out of the bleach bath. And as you can see, I'm going through and I'm weaving it once again because in the original picture that I showed you guys, there are different tones of blonde so i just figured i would <laughs> weave the bundles again and then tone them with um first i'm gonna do the t18 on one half and then i'm gonna do the t35 on the other so i can have like warm and cool shades of blonde Now, as I apply the toner, you'll be able to see the hair almost starts to instantly change color. So, um, it'll go from that brassy orange and you'll start to see it's turning more of an ash. Now this is what it's looking like. It's looking really, really nice. I love that tone. It's going, it's, I love that ash on some of the lighter parts. So I'm gonna let that sit. I think mm, we can do about 20 minutes because I feel like it was really, really brassy. So while I'm letting that sit, what I'm doing now is I'm adding my cap on for where my closure will go. So I have this HD cap and I'm just sewing it around the, um, basically around the braids that I 
instead they are going straight back where my closure will be placed by the way i've already melted my cap down i just um i'm just sewing down the perimeter and then i'll be cutting it One last thing before I cut the cap, I'm going to put some makeup on there that matches my skin tone or at least close to my skin tone. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut the cap. Now you guys see me going in, um, just melting down that the end of that cap a little bit more it's very imperative when you're doing anything with glue and lace that you keep your hairline protected which is what I'm making sure that I'm doing by now I've washed and dried my bundles out and we're on to the good part we finally get to sewing them in you guys I can't wait to see how everything turns out Okay, now it's time for me to sew down the closure. Make sure that you're positioning the closure in front of your hairline, in front of the cap, or where you want it. And then I'm holding it down so I can sew down um, the left side first. Now this was kind of tricky for me because normally I would have my clients hold the closure in place so it doesn't move. But of course, since I'm doing it by myself, I didn't have help. so. I had, it took me a minute to kind of, you know, it was kind of hard getting this first side sewn down. But once I got it sewn down on that left side, everything else was smooth sailing. And if you've seen my um, original lace closure install video, even though this one is being glued, you're still going to do the sides first and then you sew the back down last. So you're going to do... Um, both of the sides and then I always glue down the front and then I sew the back down. Okay, now I'm going to go in it start adding my glue um, I like to do about three to four coats of glue to make sure that it stays intact and of course you don't want to add your layers until the each layer has dried now I normally put a layer of glue first and then as I'm letting the glue dry I sew my bundles in I don't know why I didn't do that this time around maybe because I was having so much fun talking to my friend but typically what i would say is just as you're letting each layer of glue dry continue to sew your bundles in it's just more effective and you're going to get everything done faster now by the time my glue of course you want the glue to dry clear 
as you can see it's almost clear so I'm about to get ready to lay my closure down once I lay my closure down I'm gonna pin up the rest of my hair and I'm gonna put a band on to continue to help with that milk And I also like to add a little bit of spritz just to help with that melt. Yeah, I really just want to get into this closure for a second. It looks so natural. It's really melted. It looks like it's coming right out of my scalp. So I was super satisfied with that. And I'm almost done. I'm liking the different highlights and lowlights in the hair. But to be honest, you guys, it didn't turn out as bright as I wanted it to. But this is the finished product. It was still super cute um, with the highlights and the low lights. It was super cute. I'm not going to lie. But what I realized is that I probably should have used blonde hair and toned the blonde hair down for the look that I was going for. Um, but it still ended up being nice. And then I eventually, um, later on that evening, I actually went in and I added some 613 pieces to to give it a little bit more of the highlight that I was looking for. Now I am satisfied with how the hair turned out just itself. It's still very silky, um, smooth. It still has its luster, which I was so happy about. This was really like my first time really going through and dyeing this hair. Um, and I love it. This was the final look once I added the 613 tracks. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, or questions, don't forget to drop them down below. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Alright, till next time.